Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for coming week, and also for tomorrow. So, uh, when we talk about week, so I I've just opened the weekly chart, and uh, let's try and analyze what's happening on a week week on week basis. Okay. So we all know that uh, you know Nifty and Bank Nifty is following this particular channel, and so let's not repeat that again. So right now we'll focus on this particular area, okay? So first things first, uh, what happened is Nifty made a low close to thirty-two thousand. Sorry, Nifty Bank made a low close to thirty-two thousand, and we saw a strong bounce, which all the way went up till I think around thirty-eight six hundred, which is about uh, roughly six thousand five hundred points movement, and uh, we have again come to that same area. Okay, and so if we see this particular fall, it is exactly almost to that same area. Okay, and as per technical analysis, why this happens is uh, basically people wait for a W pattern, but in this case, uh, the W pattern looks quite difficult because it's a very big range and you can uh, practically cannot define your stop loss because uh, you know if you define a stop loss. And if you enter somewhere here, which is uh, around thirty-eight thousand six hundred, then you may have to keep a stop loss uh, somewhere here, as per the technical analysis. So the stop loss becomes around six thousand points, and you expect a twelve thousand points movement. So twelve thousand points movement means Bank Nifty hitting around fifty thousand. So we all know that practically it is difficult at this point. Uh, I'm not saying that. Bank Nifty cannot go to fifty thousand. Yes, uh, we can expect fifty thousand Bank Nifty in the coming years, but right now it is not possible. Okay, looking at the kind of FIs, cash selling, and the global scenarios, it looks quite difficult. So, what uh, in case if market has to reverse, you know, we can expect this swing and this swing, but there are. Uh, two points that we have to notice one is it made a higher low which is a good sign of being bullish and this time the swing is small okay so in case if uh, if at all bank nifty comes to this place again and tries a double bottom here this becomes a lot more better because what will happen is uh, 36000 happens to be the neckline so a break of 36000 and your stop loss will be somewhere close to 33000 that means a uh, 3000 point stop loss and with a 1 is to 2 ratio you can expect bank nifty to go to 39000 okay which is still below the all time high of 41800 so this looks more practical if we have to be bullish in the market okay so this is one of the scenario and the second scenario is how we can look at it is the first time we saw a bounce of almost 6500 points from this particular area but the second time we could only see a movement of uh, i think just about 3000 points okay so this is where uh, it seems to be a problem because this can either form a double bottom and continue on the upside or it can continue on the downside breaking this particular low so which means that whenever bank nifty breaks 35 33000 and sustains below it for a day that means bank nifty is going to deep dive to a lower level okay and it will not even stop at this particular point because now there is no point stopping here because there is no pattern formation here so eventually it will look to break it okay so that's what we can understand by looking at the weekly chart so now if you see uh, after this up move we can see a dark cloud cover kind of a pattern and this is a continuation for it and right now the closing is around 34 1500 and we can expect more dip to around 34000 this is what we can think of it and in case if you have to 
draw a trend line something like this to see if there is any trend line support uh, let's check that out too to understand okay the lower range happens to be around 33400 okay so in case if we have to put this trend line and expect it to make a double bottom so whenever it makes a double bottom usually uh, it is either the same low or slightly higher than that and the market reverses okay so let's see if that happens in bank nifty uh, in the next one or two weeks or not and similarly if you look at nifty nifty is also you know similar kind of a pattern okay and if you have to check from 15671 it almost went past 18000 so which is around uh, around 2500 points but this time the bounce is just about from 15700 to 16800 about 1100 points bounce and immediately we started falling back again so in this case nifty if it you know travels below the low it may go and test uh, 15700 to 800 levels okay and in same like if we have to compare it with bank nifty it also has a trend line here and it can take support here and then reverse and form a double bottom kind of a pattern because this is how the pattern will be and then it becomes easier for people to place a stop loss close to 15800 and then uh, this will be a thousand point stop loss and then your uh, 16000 becomes your neckline once you cross it uh, you can definitely expect uh, uh, 16500 17000 so on and so forth so this is the weekly view on nifty and bank nifty so it is right now at a place where you cannot decide the trend whether the downtrend is going to continue or whether it is going to reverse so time will tell that and we'll keep on monitoring it and identify what it is going to happen now let's quickly discuss our intraday strategies so the first thing is we look at the participant wise open interest if you look at participant wise open interest what happened on a friday is fis closed more longs and they have added huge amount of shots okay this doesn't happen usually on a friday but we can see that they have added close to eighteen thousand shots in index futures and this is mainly in bank nifty and some quantities in nifty okay so the quantity in bank nifty is high and if you look at the call uh, the options uh, very little quantity of call shots but we can see a huge quantity of put long and on the same side we can also see that pros have sold a huge amount of call shots and then some good amount of put longs as well so both are on the same side and as it is we are expecting a gap down opening tomorrow so there is a high possibility that they may book some of their uh, short positions that they carry to book profits so we'll see how we can trade tomorrow we'll also check the option chain so in the option chain uh, there are a couple of findings that i would like to show you all uh, just a moment yeah in the option chain uh, two things bank nifty and nifty close to so nifty is 0, 0 0.65 in pcr value and bank nifty is 0 0.62 so we can expect it to fall until 0 0.45 okay so that means more fall is definitely expected and here if you see in the money a lot of put 
have been exited and even 34300 in bank nifty is showing put exits which indicates that there is a possibility of a gap down around 34300 and similarly in nifty we can see exits even at 15950 16050 so this indicates that people uh, who have put shots are definitely not that uh, confident okay so now let's move back to our chart and see how we can plan our data let me activate my lines so what we see in nifty okay let me do one thing let me move it to a 15 minutes time frame so that we have a broader view so first we'll uh, check nifty and then we'll discuss back nifty so a fall in nifty from 16800 to 16500 then a pullback okay again we fall to 16 from 16 600 to 16 300 then we show a pullback then a same similar kind of a bottom and again a pullback and now again from 16 490 to a fall to 16 200 okay and tomorrow's gap down like it will look something like this will some open somewhere here so chances of pullback is definitely there okay so that's how the price pattern works a fall a pullback a fall a pullback so we'll also anticipate that pullback whether we trade that pullback is a, a second question but we definitely will not hold the put in case if we buy for a longer time so how do we plan to go on the put side so in nifty uh, this is the last swing which is around 16230 okay so to take a bullish trade or to take a call trade we want nifty to stay above 16230 and build a higher high and a higher low kind of a price pattern then only it's a confirmation that we'll go for a call because when it will reverse we will not come to know so that is the reason call should be only above 16230 right now this is a place where definitely things looks dangerous and we definitely know that tomorrow we are not opening flat neither gap up so opening is definitely gap down okay so in case of a gap down opening uh, on a daily chart we have a strong support area which is from 15 800 to 15 900 okay so these are strong support area why it is strong support area uh, let's see that on the chart too So this is the area that I'm talking about specifically. From this place to this place. Okay, let's not talk about these lows of 15700 and 15671 at the moment, but definitely it is going to enter into the support area. And the support isn't that strong because we are already testing it now for the third time. So definitely we can expect some profit booking here. So what can happen is we have seen that FIs have carried with their put longs and pros have carried call shots. So tomorrow if we open gap down, say close to 16,000. So when I say close to 16,000, preferably under around 16,030 or 16,050. If we see that nifty is opening around this place obviously you can expect profit booking because that's what people do it's a psychological level of 16,000. so breaking that level uh, needs a flat opening so that people can uh, short and take it further 
so if we open it 16030 or 16050 uh, there is a huge possibility that market may take a halt okay so we'll definitely not going to buy a put if it is going to open around 16030 or 50 rather we'll wait for any signs of reversal during intraday and so that we can trade that particular pullback so this area if market opens we will not go and short but we'll try and see if we can get a possible entry for a pullback and when i say pullback uh, so if it is opening around here so we'll expect it to move uh, like we'll place, place a small stop loss say whatever the low is at that time We'll take a small stop loss, we'll enter here and whether it will fill the gap, uh, it is again going to be a difficult question, but definitely we can book 1s to 2 for sure. So wait for a reversal here, uh, preferably a double bottom kind of a pattern or maybe a higher low higher high kind of a pattern. Okay. So tomorrow once market opens, we are uh, around 16,050. We are definitely not going to short and in case if it opens above 16100 then there is a high chance that uh, it can go down further because it's already closed around 16190 so just for 90 points uh, nobody's interested in booking that kind of a profit because the kind of quantity that they have it's huge so booking those quantities may trigger a short covering and that can even lead to 16500 so definitely i don't think so that is their plan but any which ways uh, fis have to short cover because uh, they have too many shots like they have one like 35000 shots in index futures so once they start covering this god knows where nifty would head to okay so definitely tomorrow's gap down uh, they'll book some profits so in case of 16 uh, opening around 16100 or above that uh, we'll wait and see if we get a swing something like this and once we see the low breaking uh, i think this is the best place to enter we'll enter put here with a small small stop loss here and the market should continue and by in this way it can even test 16000 or 5900 also so in this case we can definitely look for a better profit so i i hope uh, it's clear for nifty let's quickly check out bank nifty bank nifty showed a slightly strong recovery at the end okay so call buying should be only above this level uh, what is that level let's quickly check 34550 okay so above 34550 we want bank nifty bank nifty to form a higher low higher high kind of a pattern that would help us to get into a call and we can expect a rally in next two to three days to this place to at least fill the gap around 35 200 but definitely we can see that uh, market is about to open gap down and so the nearest round number that we have is 34,000. so say if bank nifty is opening around 34 100 then there is a huge chance that profit booking may come and we may see bank nifty going up like this okay so we'll plan a trade something like that i'll watch the data and definitely update you all uh, during the market but in case if it opens with a small gap down say around around at this point so definitely this is a place to short okay so it is uh, so right now the last swing is around 34 350 if i'm not wrong yeah 340 okay so the last swing is around 34 340 say it is opening around 34 250 or maybe 200 then we'll wait for this up move and once this low breaks we are definitely going to enter in the put side and this time we can definitely expect it to go to 34,000 and even maybe 33,800 for that fact okay so let's hope that the gap down is not that big and we can enter into the put trade and make some money so this is my view on 15 bank nifty for tomorrow 
and for the coming week uh, i hope you all understood this and enjoyed this video uh, i'm also going to record the video on algo please definitely go and check it out a lot of questions will be answered within the algo itself and uh, for the people who have any other questions we can have a separate uh, q a session um, in a video format or maybe i can answer it in the telegram channel thanks for watching let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye